Alright everybody, this is going to be my first attempt at an unboxing vid in my new head unit. I know it's kind of the, the cheaper one. This year's base model, I guess you want to say, of the Double Dens, the AVH uh, 2300. But, I got a hell of a deal on it, and um, could pass it up. It's going to do the job. I mean, it's got everything except for the little scan disc holder. I mean, it's still got a USB holder, so all you gotta do is put your little scan disc inside one of the USB deals or save it all to a USB or a flash drive, whatever you want to call it. I don't really give a damn. Um, this is going to be my first attempt at unboxing. Sorry, I just woke up a minute ago. And, uh, yes, this is a knife that I use for hunting, but you know what? It'll be this one or another one that looks just like it. That I'll be using for all my unboxings, which is going to be a lot in the next couple weeks. It's going to be crazy. <sighs> Hopefully, I have a really, really big build coming. I got a lot of parts ordered, a lot of trades made. Thank you, Twisted, Twisted Child 420. I got his Opti coming in next week sometime. Hopefully, it's going to be a hell of an amp. Uh, Mechman sending me all my stuff. A couple days after that, should get a few batteries and. A new alternator, which the alternator is going to be a pain in the ass to put in my Xterra because you can't even see the alternator. It's back right, it's wedged between the frame and the block. It's going to be a pain in the ass. They even told me that when I ordered it, but I already knew that because I'm a mechanic. But here we go. Trim ring thing there. Pioneer book. Sweet little remote. Looks pretty cool. Here's the actual Pioneer harness with the parking brake wire, which we'll have a relay on. Some little screws. A book that is, for some reason, that one is. I got two of them. Cool. Whatever. Works for me. Make that. Three of them. <laughs> and just so you know, they're not different languages. Ugh. One of them says English. Or two of them say English. Well, I guess one of them is a different language. Two of them say English. And one of them says Espanol. Here we go. This is coming out. <sighs> Sorry if my dog makes an appearance. He's looking at me like he wants to come in. Check this thing out. And there she blows. It's pretty sweet. Pretty cool. Bunch of outputs on the back. It's gonna be cool, man. It's going to be cool. It's going to fit perfectly in the exterior because the exteriors come with a double din type deal. Um, well, the newer ones anyways. But that's it, guys. Hopefully I'll have that in with a couple hour, within a couple hours and I'll have a video of me trying to put it in. It'll be the first time I've ever done one of those relays, so I'm not sure if I can do it. Actually, I know I can do it. So here's the first short little clip of me switching out my head units for the new Pioneer Double Din. Here you go Ben, this is just for you, Abusive Ben. My Memphis Audio Air Freshener. Got it down at Spring Break Nationals. It's the only one I found. I couldn't get another one. I got a bunch of the RE ones, but it's the only one I found of these. I gotta kinda take it out of the way for right now. And um, with these it's really easy to get the actual head unit out. All you have to do is pry up around here, and I use something plastic so I'm not fucking it up. Pry this top part off, and there's actually two screws. This whole piece pops out, and the radio is sitting there. Um, Alright, let's see what I can do. So, as you can see, I got the little top piece off, sits up there, pried it up. There's actually only one screw right here in the middle. 
and this whole piece pops out. Okay? Do not disconnect the airbag deal. Do not disconnect that. Just pull the whole piece forward and kind of turn it out of the way. See, I got plenty of room to do what I need to do. And that gives you access to the screws that are holding the whole radio in, which is one up there, one over there, two on the bottom. And the whole piece comes out, and you can do your work. You can handle shit. Check it out. Big old hole where my radio should be. Right in there. Yep. It's coming together. Hopefully the videos I'm shooting on the other camera that are set up behind my seat are working out. But I can't see them because they're back there. But here is Factory Man. Dun, dun, dun. And it's out. It took me all of two and a half minutes. It's really easy. Really simple in these things. They look like they're going to be hard, but they're not. I hope you could see this. I went out and bought that fancy dancy wire stripper extraordinaire deal. That thingy right there. Right. As seen on TV bullshit. And uh it works great on wire this size. See? I mean that's quick and easy. Nope. Well, shit. No problem. Right? But if you step up to anything, and I do mean anything bigger than and about this, right here, speaker wire. This won't even do speaker wire. Okay? Some some decent speaker wire. Not even hitting it. Not even close. So then you gotta break out the, the old wire strippers. But, uh, they work great for little stuff like this when you're putting in head units. They're nice and quick, clean, simple. They got little crimpers on them. Crimpers are kind of crappy, though. Here's the little first clip. The new Pioneer playing. I don't know if you can hear this. That's my e-brake. Now it's off. Still going. Volume. Ooh, hey. Ooh, hey. Another bit of it. All plugged into the spot where it's supposed to be, bolted in correctly, not going anywhere. It's crazy as you can see. From being so blow to everybody on your know who I'm on. I bought my whole family. Sounds a little better. I mean, it actually makes my shitty stop sound system sound better, which will not be in here in a couple of days. Oh boy. How do I do this? 